So how many rectangles do we have from this figure right here? And remember, a square is also a rectangle. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? No, that's actually not correct. Because this is another rectangle. So is this. So is that. So we have more than 15 already, right? And of course, don't just write down more than 15. We are going to find out the exact number of rectangles from this figure here. And by the way, let me tell you though, I came up with this question because I was trying the Amy 2 from the 2024 for a test. And it's actually the last question. It's pretty hard for that. And this is just like a small part of what you have to do for that big question. Anyways though, you should pause the video and try to figure out this first before you watch the solution. Done? Okay, originally I was thinking about just draw a big square and then figure out the number of rectangles inside and then subtract one, two, three, four. But that's actually not correct. And you can leave a comment down below and let me know why it is incorrect. Here's the deal. I will tell you, when you have a complete picture, either a big rectangle or a big square, it's much easier to figure out the number of rectangles inside of that figure than anything that has a missing corner. So right here, I'm actually going to break this apart into, here's the first one. I'm just going to look at the middle portion and then I'm just going to draw this for you guys, like so. Now this is a big rectangle. It's going to be much easier to figure out the number of rectangles from this figure. And then we have another portion right here. So this is the horizontal right here. One, two, three. Good. In fact, they have the same number of rectangles from here and here. But here's the issue. If I just add them up, this is not going to be the correct answer because this middle portion here, as you can see, it's happening right here and it's happening right here. So it's being double counted, right? It's okay. Let's just go ahead and subtract that. Now, how are we going to figure out the number of rectangles from this figure here though? Remember, to get a rectangle, as long as we can get the two sides horizontal vertically and then the two sides horizontally, then we are done. Here, how many horizontal lines do we have? Let's say one, two, three, four, five, right? Let's go ahead and just choose any of them. So I'm just going to have five. Let's say I'm going to choose this one right here. That's my first line. And then for the second line, I'm just going to choose another one. How many choices do we have? Four, right? One, two, three, four, I have four choices. So perhaps I'm going to choose this one right here. So that will be four choices. And then I chose this one right here. But notice earlier I chose number two first and then number five next, right? It's the same thing, same picture if I was choosing this right here first and then that right here next. I know one, two, three, four, five might be a little bit too confusing. I just realized that. Let's choose A, B, C, D, E. We have five choices. Earlier I picked B first and then E second. But it's the same thing as if I was choosing E first and B second. So I will have to divide it by technically two factorial, right? Because the order of this and that, you have two and one, two times one. This will give you the number of ways to choose two lines horizontally. Now we just have to do the same thing for the vertical lines. For the vertical lines, we have little a, little b, and little c. We have three choices to pick for the first one. I'm going to say I choose C first, like so. And remember, it's three choices for the first line. And then once we have that, we have two more. So just multiply by two. And then I'm going to maybe pick B right here. Okay. Same thing, two lines, but the order of how we select B or C doesn't matter. So divide it by two and one. Now, once we have done that, this is the rectangle that we are talking about. This gives you the number of ways to select the rectangle from this picture. And then it's the same thing because we have A, B, C, three choices horizontally, and then A, B, C, D, E. 
five choices uh, vertically. So I would just say, just to match the colors, three times two over two times one, and then times five, four, and then two, one. Now, finally, we just have to subtract the number of rectangles that we have here. So this is A, B, C, and then A, B, C. So all we have to do is 3 times 2 over 2 times 1 for the horizontal case. And then it's the same thing for the vertical case. Yeah. And for the people who are more familiar with the component torque ideas, this right here is precise D. You can write it as five choose two because you have five choices and you have to select two. And then this right here is three choices and then you want to select two. And this right here, or you can also put it as five C two and then three C two. The C just means common network where you can think about it as you choose. Anyways though, so this right here will be 10, and this right here will be 3, so 30 plus another 30, that's 60. And then if you work this out, that will be 9. So altogether, 60 minus 9, the answer is 51. So we will have a total of 51 rectangles in that figure.